So another little product type in focus video, but this one has got a monumentally sexy tip to it as well. And it comes all about my love hatred relationship with wafters that I've made it very, very clear for many, many, many years. I'm not a fan of wafters because they just don't do what I want them to do in many occasions. They have to be fished in a certain way with a very big heavy hook in all the time pretty much when using them with a meth feeder of course to make sure that they stay where you want them and they present in the way you want them to do which for me limited the way I could use them or made it so I couldn't use them in many many situations where I'm fishing for small fish little f1 skimmers little carp on a method feeder where I didn't want to be using size 10 and 12 great big lumps of iron hooks that just weren't right for the situation so it meant that wafters for me they're not really the way to go. But what they have done at Sonia Bait, they have fixed that problem with the introduction of micro, mini, tiny, weeny, lovely wafters that allow me to use sensible size 18, 16 hooks in nice medium gauge wires. The sort of hooks that you'd use when using single maggot, a four mil pellet, just nice little pellet feedery, small method feedery type hooks that you want to use at places like we are today. Packington Summers, Tunnel Barn, Lindome, all those sorts of venues where you're fishing for lots of small fish, for me, a wafter just wasn't right because the hooks were too big. Yeah, too big. They just weren't right. So what I want to do show you, if you haven't already seen it, we did uh, quite an in-depth one with Winning Waves when I went through exactly what to do to make them right. But for Sonia Bates cameras, we're going to do it again because why not? I want to show as many people as possible just how good they are and how perfectly they present me method feeder or they present me bait within me method feeder when it's broken down, but while at the same time maintaining the... Uh, beneficial properties that wafter has because fair play the brilliant hook baits that get ingested by accident which is what i'm all about when i'm feeding when the fish are feeding on a method feeder i want my hook bait to go in as well as it can without the fish knowing and without being able to avoid it which that's what wafters are all about really really good hook bait so what i want to show you now nice and quickly jake's going to lay it right over the top is me putting both the feeders into a tub what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the four mil in or the, the micro wafter in, it's sort of a 3.5, four mil sort of size. Um, I'm gonna put that in, show you how perfectly it sits on top of my pile with the little hook. And then what I'll also do, just to show my, how I don't like it to be presented, I'm gonna put a six mil wafter on, um, again, with a small 16 size, size 16 hook, and just show you how it leaves the method ball and doesn't present quite right when it's not used with the right kind of kit, tackle hooks, whatever else and show you just why these uh, micro wafters are such a wonderful hook bait for me and they become massively, massively part of my method feeder fishing whenever I'm targeting a little fish. So have a little look at this and hope you enjoy. So hopefully you got to understand there just how things worked. Obviously on the left we had the four mil or the, the micro wafter. You see it just remains perfect. That cherry on top, finished method feeder. You just know you're gonna get a bite. When a fish comes on it and eats all of that bait, it's gonna take your bait in by accident. And of course on the other side with the larger one with the, what we're gonna call it, inappropriate hook. I mean, it's not the right hook for using that size of wafter. You can see it's moved right away from the method ball. And yeah, of course, while that could get eaten, for me, it's all about that pile. I definitely believe fish come into your method pile, they want the, the volume of bait, they go straight to that home in, that's where they're most likely to get caught. So if my bait's away from it, it's just a little bit less chance of them fish catching themselves, definitely by accident, it's not gonna happen unless fish wants to eat that bait. But something well worth looking at, a little bit of a method feedery tip, pellet feedery tip, whatever you wanna call it, that's well worth using. The micro wafters, they've made things better and I'm happy all of a sudden for my method feeder fishing with wafters.